Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we're almost there. We're almost to spraying base and clear. As you can see behind me, everything has been sanded down. So I've spent a lot of time, to be honest. I spent probably a week and a half every single day sanding this thing. And I sanded right from after work all the way till basically sleep bedtime. So I'll probably spend a good four, four or five hours each day just sanding this thing. So it's a lot of work and I spent the full, full days on the weekend. Um, at the beginning, when I first started sanding, I, I guess my sandpaper really was was taking forever, wet sanding and all that stuff. It took forever to cut it down, but it's finally there. All I need to do is clean it one more time with isopropyl alcohol, and then I can mask everything up, then I tack it, and then I start spraying. So this weekend should be the weekend that I'm able to spray. I'm going to be going picking up my paint, and we're just going to get right to it. But I'm just going to go over the car real quick with what I did and how it looks like right now with you guys. So you guys can, you know, get a general idea, but it is a lot of work. So as you can see, everything is sanded down. Um, the, this area burned through, so that's etch primer. So I used it to touch up the edge. So most of this is, is pretty good. It's nice and smooth. Um, the Fuji spray system didn't spray it that well. It's mostly because probably user error. I'm, I'm not, you know, a professional painter or anything. I didn't know how to adjust it. So I really should have dialed the flute down because it sprayed on really thick. So one coat really covered it up thick and that left dimples in the paint. Um, I mean, in the primer. So with the dimples in the primer, the surface is not gonna come out super smooth. So when I spray base and clear on here, it might show through. A lot of it probably will show through, uh, but I'm okay with that. It's already sanded to as smooth as I can possibly get it. Um, the only way to fix it is basically by by sanding it all the way back down and then spray it again. And I really don't want to do that. I mean, the proper way would be to prime uh, all over again. But this isn't a professional shop, right? This is a DIY at home project. So I'm not going to go and spray primer all over again. I mean, to be honest, most shops will probably, if you pay them a lot of money to do your car and come up perfect, like show quality, you're probably going to be paying a lot of money and they're going to be spraying primer, sanding, primer, sanding multiple times just to get the substrate super smooth, super straight. And then they, then the base and clear goes out really, really well, but I'm only doing something that cleans it up really nice, but you know, it's a DIY at home job. There's going to be dust everywhere and it's, it's not going to be perfect. There's probably going to be dust particles inside the clear, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to sand that out and probably buff it afterwards. So I'm hoping that it comes out smooth and not as much orange peel. So I'm going to really have to dial down the settings with the Fuji spray gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape a whole bunch of um, masking paper on the walls and I'm going to test my spray because I'm going to have to dial down the fan and also dial down the fluid to make sure it comes out and atomizes really nice and soft. But um, the primer didn't. It, the droplets were really huge and um, they should be also soft. If, if it was a soft spray, and you're going with like, I guess six, five to six inches away from the panel, it should have gone down nice and smooth. And I wouldn't have this issue of sanding for like many, many hours. Um, at this point, I really hate sanding, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna clean the surface and then I'm gonna mask again. And then we're just gonna get to spraying. So the next time you see me is basically when I'm spraying. All right guys, so this is before I start painting. This is gonna be my workstation, my work area. I still got a good paint. I'm gonna go pick it up right now. But we're going to basically set up the station here to do the mixing of the paint and all that stuff.
All right guys, so here's the first coat. Sorry for the shakiness, because I don't have my gimbal with me, but there was a lot of fish eyes that showed up in the first coat. Uh, there's not much I could do now. I think something contaminated the surface, but I did clean it many times. So I just gotta push through it now. Here's the final tack down before I spray the clear. So here's some very poor footage. I started clearing but I forgot to turn on the camera. And then when I did turn on the camera, the hose moved the tripod. So I didn't capture a lot of the clearing stage. Here I'm doing a walk around after the final coat of clear. You can tell it's pretty foggy in here. Can you hear how sticky it is as I walk? Alright guys, so it's the next day. As you can see behind me, the car is pretty much partially unmasked. I'm going to continue unmasking it um, in a bit. But um, it turned out really good. As you can see, it's super shiny and everything. The 7 Pro 2 does do a fantastic job. Um, there's a lot of dirt nibs in the paint, but what do you expect? It's painting inside a, a garage, right? That has dirt and everything all over the place. Dust and all that stuff because I was doing body work, I was sanding primer, everything I did in this garage. So it's expected that I couldn't clean it out perfectly anyways, and there's going to be floaties in the air and stuff like that. So I didn't expect it to come out perfect. I expected it to have little dirt nibs. So what I did is I cleared a lot on there. I think put three coats of clear. That way I could buff out all the little dirt nibs in a, in a later video or whatever it is. But we're just going to go over the car right now and you guys check it out. So as you can see, this is the hood. It looks pretty good. Like the, like the dirt nibs I was talking about, it's these little nibs. So when I originally started painting it, when I sprayed down the first coat of uh, base, it actually started to um, have fish eyes throughout the whole paint job, like fish eyes everywhere. It might still be visible on here, but it had fish eyes everywhere. So uh, I, I basically just laid down the base as much as I can to cover up the fish eyes, but it did leave a whole bunch of little divots um overall like yeah dirt nibs here and there but you know i had a couple drip marks one drip right around here I'm not sure if you can even see it um but it's dripped around this area so i'm gonna have to sand that a little bit more flush um i dripped it around here as well but it is super glossy like you can see my reflection like look at that it looks really good 
Um, obviously, you see specks everywhere because of all the little dirt, but it laid down super flat, like it, like barely any orange peel. To be honest, I just followed the guidelines that Fuji had. Um, the 1.3 tip worked perfectly fine. The one that comes with the gun, I sprayed primer with what with a 1.8. But I don't think that is absolutely necessary. If you thin out your primer, you should be able to spray it through the gun. But it's super glossy, it looks like brand new. I'm really impressed with the rockers. If you can see, um, you can't see any of the, the body uh, work that I've done on it. So, I mean, there's a little bit of texturing on this side because I sprayed really close. There's not a lot of room from here to the wall. So, um, yeah, I had to really lay it on. So there's some texturing on here, but that can all be fixed by, you know, wet sanding and buffing. Um, I did lay down three coats, I think. So, and I don't even technically have to buff it. It's kind of like almost a factory orange peel. So here again, um, it's dripping. You can't really see, you can kind of see it right there. So I, I dripped it here. So I'm gonna have to sand that down. Here's the doors. Uh, this one has actually got a little bit of dirt right in there. You know, I didn't even see that, but I, you know, I, I laid down a lot of clear just to, to have extra clear for me to buff that. Hopefully I could buff that out. But for the most part, it is like nice and clean. Like I, I sprayed, I laid it on here. And here are the door handles and stuff. So this one, you notice there's some texturing in there. So what happened was it started wrinkling as I was spraying the base. Not sure why, but my friend told me that it's probably cause I didn't let it cure fast enough. I mean, long enough, or um, I sprayed too much and it was trying to cure and it started wrinkling. So it, as I was spraying in here, it, it started wrinkling all over. So um, I just waited till it was dry and, and I just cleared it. I didn't really try to fix it or anything. I mean, I can, fix it, fix it, but I, why? I didn't want to have to stop and sand the whole thing down. Um, this is the gas lid. It looks pretty good. There's a like little nibbies there, here and there on this area. I think I touched it. So you can see that it's, it's got a imperfection there, which I could sand out. And there was also a, a little bit of wrinkling on these. You can see kind of like right there, I guess in areas where the paint kind of pooled a little bit. It, it probably didn't dry or flash off in the five minutes or five to 10 minutes that it was, uh, that it said on the tech data sheet. But overall, if you look at the whole car, it looks really good, really clean, um, very shiny. I'm very surprised with how well the spray system did. Like, um, you know, it, I, I couldn't be happier for, for like a garage job, to be honest. It, this is way better than what I expected. Like I said, there's some imperfections, some orange peeling and stuff like that, but I can fix that. Just wet sand the whole thing and just buff it. Um, so I'm just gonna go over maybe the how-to, because you guys are probably interested. Okay, well, how did you spray with the Semi Pro 2? Um, and how did you get it to work? Because other people on YouTube technically didn't. Well. I'll have to show you guys because, you know, it's, it's basically all in your gun settings. So I'm just going to go and basically show you what I did on like my wall first, and then I'll show you guys the gun. So here's my wall. Wait, let me adjust the gimbal. Okay. So here's my wall. And you notice that how fine that spray is. That is what you want. So this is, you see, I did three, three passes to set up my gun. So the first pass, you notice all these bit marks. Let's see it focus here. It's pretty big droplets, right? You don't want that. This is like kind of what I sprayed my primer. It ended up being super thick. I had it wide open and everything and it sprayed horribly. So I spent days sanding my primer. Got better as I set it up and then it got better. Um, I wanted to essentially dial down my fan to about like you notice, this is my hand, um, about a couple inches bigger than my hand. Essentially, you want a couple inches bigger. This is the distance you want, like about five to six inches away from your panel. So I would say this is about eight inches at least. So you wanted something like that. With the clear, I dialed it down. Um, this is, this was, you know, when I finished cleaning the gun. 
Then I had to dial it down. I upped it a little bit, um, increasing my fan so I could cover faster. And then, you know, I increased the fluid a little bit. So let's go down to the gun. Here's the gun. So essentially, this system is fixed air. You don't touch the air. The air is already set for you. You can't do anything about that. So whatever the air is set at, you leave that. So essentially, there's only two settings left. You have your fan and you have your fluid. That's it. So in order for you to dial this down, you just either shrink your fan or reduce your fluid. So what I I did was I had it clocked to about, you know, um, almost like a one third or one quarter mark for the fan. So this is wide open, the whole like fan, and this is getting it narrower. So I had it about there. I made a little mark here at wide open. Um, so this is set at wide open right now. And then I dialed it down basically one full turn in after I had the fan at that. And then I sprayed it on the wall and then I dialed it and I fine tuned it until the droplets were a little misty and fine. So this gun can lay down base and clear perfectly fine with this 1.3 tip. So that's basically me spraying with the Semi Pro 2. This hose on, by the other hand, by the way, sucks. Heavy, it gets tangled easily. It, it hit the panel a few times too. And look at all the crap stuck on here. Oh, that's, this is expected because I was, I wet the floor and then I, I was spraying and, and it's expected. Like my floor is dirty, really dirty. So I've got to give this a good cleaning later. But essentially the hose hit my panels a couple times. So there's some spots on the car that they have like lines in them and stuff because I filled it in afterwards with paint. So I, I think there's one area right around here. Um, not sure if you can see it, the reflector right there, right there. You see it as I'm going back and forth. So this, the hose actually touched it. So as I was like whipping it, it actually touched it and um, it accidentally made a little line here. Um, so I had to, I had to just touch it up with some paint, just spray some more base on there. Um, the gun itself, I also accidentally like, you know, as you're rotating it and all that stuff, um, sometimes it touches the panel. Um, I did run it a couple times, the base. So here was a huge run mark. So what I did was I, I basically had to sand it down, I wait for it to dry and then sand it down and then re hit, hit it with base. Um, overall, like it turned out pretty good. Um, you could, you, it laid down smooth. If you touch it right now, it's really smooth. Some areas is a little bit textured, but that's when I was like kind of speeding up or whatever. But for the most part, it laid down really good. So as for my recommendation is yes, you can use the Semi Pro 2 to spray a whole car. I did it in all one shot. So I still have, you know, the bumpers and all that kind of stuff to spray. So I'm doing another session. I'm not sure if I'm going to be filming that or not. I might. Um, and you can see it in action again, but, um, I didn't get all the video footage for the Semi Pro 2 because, like I said, the hose knocked my tripod and it ended up rotating the camera somewhere else and it was facing somewhere else while I was spraying. And I didn't want to fix it because, you know, time um, is really crucial when you're spraying. You have to make sure that you're, you're covering everything and it flashes off in like five minutes, right? So I'm not going to go and play around with my camera and all this stuff. I'm going to make sure that I lay it down properly. So yeah, that's basically it guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe and share my videos. There's definitely more and more content coming because I still have a lot of stuff to do to the car. Like I said, I'm still gonna be painting a few more things. Um, and there's a few other things that I'm gonna be fixing on the car, like the transmission. So stay tuned for those. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to continue putting it back together, at least the doors of the car. And then, you know, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.